we got to find a way to get better. Lost the football. The Huskers fall to 0 and 5. Man, that's disappointing. Nebraska just wasn't competitive. Anytime you're 0 and 5, people are going to start questioning everything. In this building, I know I got the right coaching staff. I got, I got the type of coaches that have already taken an 0 and 12 team and made them undefeated in two years. Why do an interview like this? Number one, because you never want to run from it. We have to own what we are. If, you, if you're not willing to look at who you are, then you're not going to fix who you are. Right now, we're on hard times. We're going to look back on these times someday with, with a little bit of a smile. You need to rejoice in, in your suffering sometimes because it develops perseverance. When you have this kind of start at this kind of program, there's going to be criticism. What criticism is most valid to you? I learned a long time ago not to pay attention to criticism. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. And the Oscars' disappointing 2018 continues. You've had 20 non-seniors leave the program since you took over in December. Why? Because we need to move forward with the kids that are going to do things the right way. How do you assess that number, Scott? 20. I don't think 20 is probably going to be the end of it. And it, it isn't like we're running kids out of here. But in order to win, in order to do things the right way, it, it can be hard. In, in my opinion, we look like one of the most undisciplined teams in the country. And, and, and it kills me. They look like they love losing. Why say those things publicly? Because I think it's important to be honest. People deserve to know why. And I think the guys had to go through something like that and say, wait a minute, we might have won three games if we'd have just done these little things right. I think it was a real turning point for the culture of this team. What fear of failure do you have? I hate losing. Uh, what we're going through right now, I hate it. Our team hates it. Our coaching staff hates it. It's probably a necessary step, but it's no fun. The fear of failure can never outweigh your desire to accomplish something great. Over the summer, you said, quote, year two is when it's going to take off around here. We'll be a really good team in two years. I don't believe that. I know that. The results might not be showing it, but the minute the results come, the guys are going to believe it even more. There's no reason that this program can't get back to where it belongs. Day by day, we're going to get better and better. Wherever I'm going to coach, we're going to teach our kids to play with a desire to excel and no fear of failure. It would have been easier to stay where we were comfortable in Florida. But if I'm preaching that to my kids, then I'd be a hypocrite not to do it myself. And there's going to be no place where it's going to be sweeter and more fun for me and our staff as a football coach as Nebraska when we get this right.